companies need to hire more women, and they need to make that commitment today. We're so lucky at Williams it, Sonoma. We are 53% over VP and above, and 50% on our board women. Does it feel to you like um, your experience is solitary somehow, isolated uh, relative to other CEO jobs? And does this have an effect in the way the culture or the way policy is implemented within the company? Yeah, I mean, we, we are so focused on our culture um, and our values, and we have worked very hard to build an environment where people are judged by their performance, not by their gender, not by their skin color, not by their sexual orientation. And it allows people to be their best self at work and to achieve great heights um, without having to deal with bias every day. Half of the board is women, right? That's it double is. the it national is. average. So, it, yes. and, and, but if, you're, if your screen is essentially a meritocracy, as you say, I assume you're, you're sample of potential directors is just wider than other companies. You know, we, we've been so fortunate to find great people um, to be part of our company, both on our board and, you know, working for us in our stores and around the globe and manufacturing. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's funny, you only know what you know, um, but we see that people are able to um, really excel um, because of the environment that allows them to be innovative and um, to speak up. And, uh, you know, we, we've just um, really enjoyed a wonderful um, experience at, at Williams Sonoma. What sort of pipeline, Laura? I mean, you mentioned um, the representation of women in the ranks. Is there a pipeline mm -hmm. to make sure those women, it seems like there's a disconnect often between the women in the ranks and the pipeline to the CEO job, to the C-suite. Um, how do you make sure that there is a pipeline, a path from there to the mm -hmm. C-suite? You know, it starts with all the people that we attract, both from our internship programs and um, throughout the company and our stores. And most retailers have a lot of gender parity in the ranks, but it's really hard to break through that VP level. So the most important thing, I think, is that people can see role models in those big jobs. And they've seen all types of different types of women who have been successful, women who have families, women who don't, um, women who, who are straight, women who are not straight. And, you know, the reality is that if you can see yourself in the leaders, it helps you strive for more. It helps you be bold and brave about seeking that next job title and going for that performance that will get you that job title. Uh, William Sonoma has brands that I'm guessing uh, have a high percentage of female consumers, right? William Sonoma, Pottery Barn, yes. West Elm. Yes. I wonder if you, if you think um, the female leadership, the component we're talking about, has an impact on uh, consumer demand for the brand's products. And if it does, mm -hmm. how you manage to transfer that to companies that are in the steel business and uh, other industries that may not be as uh, not, not have a high such a high concentration of female consumers. Yeah, let's remember that you know customers are diverse. Management needs to represent the customer base, and um, those diverse perspectives that we have in our company allow us to see opportunities that other companies might not see. We're very comfortable talking about a wide range of subjects and. Um, looking at the nuance of what makes a person buy based on our own experiences. What's a good example of that? Is, is there an SKU that you think has been? Um, yeah, I mean, I think a good. Yeah, uh, I think a good example is you know our very large home furnishings business for children. Um, we were the first that brought you know kids' home furnishings in a tasteful way, in a quality way, into the home. And that was because many of us were pregnant at the time, and it was real for us. And we understood that nuance, and we've built that business over time, bringing in Potter Barntine and working on, you know, different brand extensions, baby gear. And that's, that's one where, you know, it's, it's just so obvious when you're in that group. It's just one example. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.